guys, we're here for another Feature Friday, and today we're in historic Shawnee Town. And here with me, I have Christy Short, and we're going to kind of talk about a couple of the cool things they have going on this weekend. So, Christy, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and then your title? Thank you. Uh, my name is Christy Short. I'm with the Gallatin County Historical Society. I'm the historian, and I've been doing that for the last few years. Uh, I've been a member for 10 years, and all right, so now we're going to go take a look around the bank. To round the corner. Yes. She should be coming any minute. There. Good morning. Welcome to uh, Old Shawnee Town, Illinois. We are currently standing at the First State Bank, which was built after the actual First State Bank, which was a house. We, we'll get to that later. So this is the five column bank here in the village of Shawneetown. The Gallatin County Historical Society opens this to visitors and we would love to have you come down. I will share a little bit of history with you and if you come down this weekend to our special event, then we'll be able to share a whole lot more information with you. So as you walk up these beautiful sandstone steps and these beautiful pillars, we're gonna walk into the bank and the bank was built about 1830, 1840. And it was a very busy town over 150 years ago. And uh, this would have been a very opulent, very fancy building and a lot of merchants and businessmen uh, kept their money here. And we are very lucky to be able to come in here uh, and let visitors walk around and see the history that we have here. I wanted to show you the medallion from the 1937 high water bark of the flood. So we're looking at the medallion they placed. And um, welcome to the John Marshall Bank Home Museum. Uh, it has many, many facets to it. Uh, the John Marshall Home was built around 1810 look out the window here from the banking room you can see where the building itself was originally built that's the remainder of the foundation of the original bank and in the late 60s and 70s the then newly formed historical society uh, took on this project and uh, finished taking the crumbling building down and reestablished it here where it is today and it's been open since 1974 okay so now that we're upstairs in the John Marshall House, I'd like to give you just a brief little view of the bedrooms. So the Marshalls raised seven children, five boys, two girls. The youngest, Sarah Marshall, married John Hayden and she became the first woman author in the state of Illinois. Remember that this building originally was up where the levee is and the levee would not have been there. And so they would have opened their windows and looked out onto the beautiful Ohio River and watched the boats go down the river and traffic would have been busy coming in and out of town, getting salt and furs and doing your banking and buying land and lumber and who knows, a little bit of everything. So this is a trundle bed that uh, we like to show you with all the, the little ones when they were little until they were big enough to mind themselves and then they got to go into the big boys room and share that. So uh, we're really pleased that the uh, Evansville Historical Museum um, has donated these some of these items in our building to us many years ago. So it's a lot of fun to, to come in here and share the information with our visitors. And that's pretty much about it. And if you want to see any more, you're just going to have to come down here and visit us um, Sunday, 1 to 4. And uh, wear your tennis shoes or boots and uh, bring some history with you. We'd love to share ours with you, too. I just want to thank Christy. Uh, for showing us all of the cool interesting places they have down here and remember as she mentioned they have an event coming up this weekend so come down and check this out you can also check out the catholic church as pictured here behind me it will be open for viewing i believe as well 
So come down, see what they have to offer. And the Historical Society works really hard to gather up these items for us. Um, so it's just very, very interesting and cool and something different to do this weekend to kind of check out and see what they have going on down here. So thank you so much for joining us for another Feature Friday. Remember while you're out shopping local to hashtag Legions Loves Local and the Buck Stops Local. Thank you. Have a great weekend.